Okay, so first of all, I didn't put this series on halt on purpose. I didn't want to put the series on halt, but if you guys follow me on Twitter or any form of social media, I mentioned that my profile I used to play Lemonators on was pretty messed up. So what happened? Shortly after I made episode 2, I recorded bits of episode 3, and straight away I realised that the game I played in episode 2 didn't save. It was like it never existed. It didn't go to my record or my points didn't change or anything. So I thought, okay, that's alright. We were still in Division 10 because EA fucked up. But I thought, that's okay, that's fine, we can play again. So I played another game and the game finishes 1-1, which is alright I guess, and guess what? EA fucks up again, my game did not save. So me feeling bummed down, thought something had gone wrong, I consulted Twitter about this issue that I had, and a few of you guys replied saying apparently you've had this before. I asked what was wrong and you guys just said you had to wait it out. And that was a massive bummer, so now I'm stuck with this game breaking ultimate team bug, and I'm told that I'm just have to wait it out until it just fixes itself. So that really sucks. So I had to wait until now for it to finally sort itself out. And at last, EA unfucked itself and we are back in Division 9. So now that that's out of the way, finally we are back on track with the journey of Lemonators FC. And now we can go back to reaching our goal of getting to Division 1. But how will our two debut games in Division 9 go? Find out in today's episode of Lemonators FC. So welcome back to Lemonators FC guys, now if you don't remember in the last episode we got promoted for the first time in the series and we are now in Division 9 and we're going to be playing our first two games in Division 9 today. So here is the team of the week for today, it's still right, you know it's pretty bleh. What we're amped about today is getting the team of the year, I'll be getting into that in a second. So right now I'm going to be switching to live commentary of opening the special two 100k packs and a few 35k packs for team of the year in hopes of getting getting a blue card. Let's see how it goes. I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so as you can see on the screen here, there's not one but two 100,000 coin packs available. Now for 2,000 FIFA points each, I've added 5,500 FIFA points to this account. So now we can open two of these 100k packs and also two of these 35k packs. Now normally I wouldn't spend these many FIFA points on Lemonators, but the special occasion of course, if you guys don't know, is Team of the Year with incredible players like Noya, Robin, Messi and 99 rated Ronaldo. This is it guys, if I'm ever gonna get a good player in this series, it's gonna be now. So with these packs, surely we have to get someone worth screaming about, am I right? Can you guys feel that? That's the hype. That is the hype that is building right now. The hype man, the hype's getting too insane. Let's open this now, come on, show me glory. Ah, shit. Right, let's pretend that never happened, but we do have one pack remaining for 100,000 coins. I was expecting better, but oh well, maybe it's just warming us up. Maybe this is it. Surely, come on, if I'm gonna get a good play, it's gotta be now. Please. Yeah, for fuck yeah! Okay, clearly I'm not as lucky as other people, because I've seen other people get uh, incredible packs, but oh well. Ah, we did get Ramirez. Oh, that's amazing. He can go in our team. All right, we do have a couple 35k packs remaining. There are five that we can buy, but I only want to buy two. I could, I could buy more if I wanted, but let's just see what happens first. Right, I think FIFA's broken again. Selfie pack. All right, cool. I did a selfie pack. Have a look on my Instagram if you want to see it, but let's see what we get in this one. Ah, suicide pack. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's a thing! He's good, isn't he? He's good, I swear! Oh! Oh! Wait, okay, he could still be- Oh! Oh. Well, at least we did get an in form, but still, it doesn't really go for anything. So, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I, uh, I, I guess we should, uh, we should, uh, stop her. Uh, okay, now one more! Just, yeah, just, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we weren't as lucky as some of the people that did open these packs. But, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just continue with whatever now. I mean, I, I, did, I did want a team of the year anyways. However, we did pack Ramirez, and we did get Joe Hart that we could also use. Um, I wanted Ramirez way more than Gerard. Gerard was just kind of the thing I got because he was cheaper. So that's a massive improvement to the club. 
Sorry, Gerard. And now we finally have our first substitute goalkeeper, Joe Hart. Everything's going well. Now, again, this is the kind of sort of section where I'd swap out players, give some players the cut. Unfortunately, since I haven't played with this team in a while, I forgot their potential. So I want to play just a couple games with them in this episode to remind me of how good these players are. Because I remember in the last episode, these players were insane. But there's always room for improvement, so let's see what matters and let's see how these players perform in the games. The first game of the season then, so important to get their campaign off to a winning start. Right, come on Eliminators, this is it, let's work as a team now. Oh yes, Eto, Eto's on the ball! Oh, okay, good save. Oh, what's this, looks like we got a free kick. Well, okay. Come on Capello, you got this, just keep your cool. Oh, no, oh my Jesus! Oh, that was so close. Come on Eliminators, get up there. We can beat this man. Oh, yes, Eto's on the ball. He's up front. Whips it into Cabela. Oh, so close. Oh, who's this? Yes! Yes, there we go. First goal for Lemonade's FC. Who was that? Ramirez. Oh, yes, his debut. He gets his first goal. He's a good signing, isn't he? Well, we can't relax now. There's still a long way to go at this match. Oh, dog shit. Dog shit. No! Oh, okay, that was too close. return ball. Great tackle! Did you feel those legs break? He's lost his oh ball. shit! Uh, I didn't mean it, Mr. Ref! Shit! No! No! No, Eto! Shit! I didn't mean to! Oh, dog shit! Right, guys, just keep your heads up. Let's go to. Let's park the bus and hu I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Shit! Get him! Get him! Jeez, that was close. There's no one up front anymore. Oh, this is going to be a really, really slow half an hour we've got left. All right, guys, as long as the bus is parked, the handbrake is on, we will be fine. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God, he's getting close. Oh, for fuck's sake, I still thought Eto was there. Oh, not even five minutes. Oh, he's pushing it. I swear to God, if this dude... Gets the goal right now. Oh boy, I will not be a happy lemon. Oh, well, Welbeck's on his own. Cut inside. Welbeck. What the fuck was that? Yes. Oh, okay. We won the game. Well done, Lemonators. You held the lead. The fans are excited. Our first game in Division 9, and we got a three points, which is always nice. It's a shame about Eto, but. Well, it looks like we're going to have to find a replacement. So whilst I was looking for a replacement for our striker, Eto, who's got a one-match ban, unfortunately, because of his red card, I realised that everyone's so damn cheap now. I mean, of course, it's because of the Team of the Year pack openings. Everyone's opening so many packs, getting so many shit or decent plays and setting them on, that because there's so many, the price has gone down. So taking advantage of this, I decided to go with Diego Costa. So in the end, I managed to bargain him for 18,000... Oh... Shit, for just 20,000 coins, which is pretty good, I guess. So, Diego Costa, welcome to Lemonators FC. Okay, so we have Diego Costa. Let's make a few changes. Uh, let's let's give Joe Hart a game just to see what he's like. You know, the bench warmers have got to have some glory. And for this game, let's sub on... Jabba -labba -labba -labba. Hello and welcome to this broadcast of FIFA Ultimate Team Seasons. A tremendous win in their opening game of the season. Can they build on that now? I hate that dramatic opening it has. It's so over dramatic. All right, okay, mid-season game we've got Eliminators. Nothing too special if we win this, apart from if we do win this, we can guarantee we won't get relegated. Right, got also, don't get confused. This is our way kit, the black one. I don't know why either. We should change that at some point. Give me that ball! Oh, shit, what the, what the flippity flock? This guy's good, I think. Or I'm just shit, either way. This is bad. Oh my Jesus! No! No! Oh, poo! Shit! Oh, that's bad. That's not good. Oh, that's right, guys. We always concede in the beginning, but we always get back. Yes, Costa! Yes! Come on, Costa! That's what I'm talking about! Debut goal, Diego Costa! That's what I like to see. Good tackle. Oh, and that's a penalty. Wait, what? 
That was a good tackle! What's going No! Not again! <laughs> Come on! What are you chatting, ref? Did I hit the ball? I can't see at the moment. I'm pretty sure I hit the ball. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Come on, Joe Hart. Show that you were worth putting on. Shit! Oh no! Oh, that sucks! Okay, so we're down to 10 men in the first 20 minutes and one goal down. That's not the best thing in the world. Alright, don't worry, I have removed the X button from my controller, so now I can't slide tackle people. Shabba Labba Labba! Come on, Shabba! Come on! Yes, Shabba! Shabba Labba Labba! Yes! Yes, Shabba Labba Labba Labba! Shabba Labba Labba Labba! <laughs> Shabba Labba, yes, that's what I'm saying. His debut goal might have just saved us. Diego Costa again, and it's Welbeck. Oh, but Cabello and Welbeck are in the open. Welbeck, oh, oh, that was close. On Ramirez, good delivery. Ben Arthur, Ben Arthur, oh shit. Oh god, it was close. Oh, Cabello, Cabello's in the open. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Shabba Labba is again. Over to Welbeck. Here's to Costa. Come on. Oh, okay, so right, we've got a corner. Oh, and one of these chances has got to go in. Oh, come on. Yes. No. Come on. Pressure, pressure, pressure. When will this go in? No. What the fuck? This is when I hate FIFA! I have been attack, attack, attack after attack. He gets one shot, one shot and scores. That is bullshit. Right, looks like that's it now, guys. 90 minutes gone, but it's never over. What the fuck? No! Well, my friends, you have just experienced what the youth called EA bullshit. Well, I could blame it on EA, or I could just learn from my mistakes and the fact that I shouldn't make super tackles. I thought I got the ball. Did I get the ball? I don't know. But anyways, you win some, you lose some, I guess. You, you know, winners can't be choosers. Well, guys, it wasn't too bad. Diego Costa did make a great debut, scoring a great goal in his first match for Lemonade's FC. Shabba Labba Labba also scored an amazing goal for his first goal for Lemonade's FC. It was a shame about and that, whole, uh, that guy about getting his red card. Eto as well. But I guess winners can't be choosers, like I said. And you do win some, and you lose some. But the future is looking bright for Lemonade's FC. So hopefully in the next episode, we can do even better. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching today's Lemonators FC. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.